Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your router browsing history. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, let's open up the settings here on your mobile phone or on a computer as well. Now, we need to get into the router settings to be able to see any of that browsing history. Let's tap on Wi-Fi, and you can see I'm connected to my home network, Luddites and Neolites. I can tap on the little I right next to it. And if I scroll down, what I'm looking for is the IP address for my router. So you can see router starts with 192.168. I can tap and hold and hit copy here. After I've done that, I'm gonna open up a web browser and I'm just gonna hit paste and go. And now that I've done that, I can connect to my router. This will show me a bunch of information regarding my router and allow me to control all of it. But the cool thing is I can go in here and I can run the logs to be able to see any of that browsing history. So in my instance, I'm gonna tap on, if I scroll over, diagnostics, and then tap on logs here. Now keep in mind, I have AT&T fiber internet. If you have something else, if you have Google fiber, any other router, any other personal router or branded router, it will look a bit different but what you're gonna look for is something that says logs. And I can go in here and I'll be able to see the browsing history on here. So you can see the date and the source IP address and the destination IP address. Now keep in mind when this logs all of that browsing history, it doesn't do so with the actual URL like google.com. It will do it with the IP address. So what you need to do is just check to see what IP address that is associated with. So it might be an app like Facebook or Instagram, or it could be a website like ESPN.com or Google.com or whatever it may be. But you're gonna basically use any of these IP addresses. You can just copy them here and then put them into Google, do some search on what those are or what they're linked to through Google and you get a good idea of that browsing history. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.